This lesson provides a general overview of the Security Gateway interface, including the dashboard where you'll find the status of the Security Gateway service, as well as traffic charts and statistics. The main menu where you'll find user account settings and landing page information, the message log, and quarantine view. The setup menu, which includes account settings, system and database settings, archive configuration settings, and registration information. We'll talk about the security menu, where you'll find security and spam filter settings, data leak prevention rules, and RML encryption settings. Under the messages list and queues section, you'll find a listing of all messages, plus user and administrative quarantines, messages that are queued for delivery, and the bad messages queue. Under the logging section, we'll discuss the message log, plus plain text log files by type, such as inbound, outbound, routing, the archive log, antivirus updates, and other log files. We'll also discuss log settings and log maintenance. And then finally, under the reports menu, we'll discuss the scheduled statistics report, inbound versus outbound summary reports, good versus junk reports, plus top senders, top sources of spam, and various other reports. Here's an overview of the Security Gateway interface. When you log in, you'll be taken to the Security Gateway dashboard. And on this screen at the top, you have the server status section, which shows you the uh, status of the SMTP service, whether it is active or inactive. If you have a trial running, how many days you have left on your trial, your registration information, how many domains and users you are protecting. And then you have a series of graphs and charts below under the server statistics section. Now, each one of these has data points that you can click on. If you hover your mouse, it shows you some statistics about that particular data point. For example, how many messages were sent at that particular time. Notice that they are color-coded to give you information about the type of traffic, inbound, outbound, and so forth. And you can click on these items here to enable or disable the various uh, categories of data. And you've got other charts and graphs down below on your dashboard, uh, such as total email recipients in a given and in the last 24 hours, total sources of spam and so forth. And again, you can hover your mouse to see more statistics and information. You can also click on any of these data points, such as, say, for example, this data point right up here under the good versus junk messages chart. And it will take you to the uh, list of messages that were transmitted that that correspond to that particular data point. So that's uh, that's the dashboard. When you log in, you have a few self-service links along the uh, left-hand side here. You've got access to your account with your own landing page, your own account settings, your blacklist and whitelist settings. You can view your own quarantine. You can view all of the messages to and from your account uh, specifically. And uh, if you're the administrator, you may see other accounts here as well. But for end users who do not have administrative rights, they will see messages uh, for their account specifically. Uh, you can also search your message archive here as well. And then on the top right-hand corner, you have a, a link to the uh, Security Gateway Manual, the help menu, the help file. You have a link here under the About section, which uh, when you click on it, it tells you what version of Security Gateway you're running. and has some helpful information on how to contact technical support or how to uh, purchase Security Gateway. And then, of course, you have a, a uh, sign-out link at the top right as well. So if we go down the options here along the left-hand side, you have a series of other menu options. You've got a setup users menu, security, messages, queues, logging, and reports. And with each one of these, when you click on it, you get a sub-menu of additional options. So for example, under the setup users menu, you can uh, manage accounts, uh, your domains and users. You can assign administrative rights and uh, configure other account-specific settings, user verification sources, and so forth. And we'll get to what some of these items mean in uh, additional lessons throughout this course. But this shows you basically an overview of your accounts and your, your user options and the various uh, configuration settings that you can configure for those. And of course, you got your mail configure option, mail configuration settings as well. You can configure which mail servers you are protecting, yeah, can quarantine preferences, um, email settings, email protocol settings, such as what ports uh, you want Security Gateway to listen on, what your uh, host name is, delivery settings, whether you're delivering directly or through a smart host. You have access to archiving settings, and we will have a video on archiving specifically as well. So all of those settings can be found right here. 
any uh, disclaimers such as headers or footers that you'd like to add to all messages, you can configure that information here. System related information, in, uh, HTTP, HTTPS, SSL type settings, things like that. Uh, whether or not you are using uh, your own DNS servers or if you want to designate your Windows DNS server, um, IPv6, uh, what directories you would like to store data in, disk space, available disk space, and some other custom settings like branding and custom images and things like that. You have access to the Security Gateway database settings down here, how much data is uh, retained in a given period of time, and backup and restore settings as well. Access to your software updates where you can check to see if there is a new version of Security Gateway and additional registration information down here. And then under the security menu, we have all of the security settings listed here. So your anti-spam, antivirus settings, they're all listed down here. Your, R, your RML settings, which is RML uh, encryption, uh, track and prove and so forth. Data leak prevention settings, your uh, your message content filter, attachment filtering, and your blacklist and whitelist. And then you have a Civ scripts, which are scripts that are written in the Civ filtering language, which correspond to all of the security processes that secure, that a message passes through when it goes through a security gateway. They are assigned, they are corresponding to, associate, to an associated Civ script. So that's where you find those those scripts. And we can go into more detail in another lesson in this course. You can also manage down here under the messages queues menu. You can view a, uh, under the all messages, you can view all messages to and from uh, or sent inbound and outbound through security gateway with uh, information on uh, the date, who the message was from, the recipient, the message subject, the result of the delivery attempt. Was it delivered? Was it rejected? Was it quarantined? Uh, and why? Uh, so, for example, under the reason column, why? So, uh, this is great for troubleshooting because you can actually uh, double click on a message here, for example, and view the actual transcript of the uh, delivery attempt and find more information as to why it was handled the way it was, why it was rejected. So, for example, uh, this message found some, uh, found the word confidential in the message body and uh, it was triggered by a, uh, by con content filtering rule. So, it makes troubleshooting easy when you can drill down like this and see what's taking place on your server by simply clicking through the message logs. Along the top of these message listing windows, you will see some buttons such as uh, a search button where you can search all of these uh, messages for particular uh, information. You can view the details of a message, which is basically the same as double clicking on one. You can attempt a redelivery if it was a message that might have been placed in a quarantine or required for the review or mark a message as spam or not spam or blacklist or whitelist uh, the message uh, sender sender's domain and so forth. And then under the message uh, queues menu you have access to the uh, quarantine queues. You have a queue for uh, messages that were quarantined for, the, for your users and then you have a queue that goes to the administrative quarantine, which are uh, messages that either triggered a data leak prevention rule or some other rule that requires the administrator to review it. You have messages that are queued for delivery in, the, in this queue, and then any bad messages will go in the bad messages queue here. So under logging, this is where you'll access all of the messages that are sent to and from or through Security Gateway. Your log files in uh, plain text, so your system log, your log file showing all outbound activity uh, and inbound activity, your routing log, active, your archiving log, and so forth, all in uh, plain text. Under the configure logging option, you can configure how much data to write to the logs and configure uh, maximum size, a maximum size for the logs and automatic deletion settings for older log files. And then finally, under the reports menu, you have options that allow you to see graphs and charts of all the activity taking place on the server. You do, before I go into those though, you also have the option at the top to configure when a statistics report is sent to the to administrators, providing an overview of server activity. But further down here, you have a, uh, you have charts that show your inbound and outbound mail traffic, and each of these has additional um, options such as if you'd like to narrow it down by day or by month, uh, you can do that. You can view 
the last 24 hours of information or uh, last seven days worth of information and so forth. So it'll take all of that information and it'll put it in a, in a chart for you. Uh, good versus junk email breakdown. And again, each of these has data points that you can hover on. And then you can click on them to see the uh, messages that correspond to that particular uh, data point. You can go, uh, you can get a breakdown of junk email. Uh, you can see your bandwidth usage and then other uh, types of data messages that were processed, uh, inbound messages that were processed, top recipients and or top recipients by size, again with uh, uh, clickable points so you can actually view the messages corresponding to that particular chart or graph. Outbound mail, top senders by size, uh, top senders messages processed, and then spam, uh, top sources of spam, uh, top spam recipients, and any antivirus activity listed right here. So that's just a quick high-level overview of the uh, Security Gateway interface and uh, we'll go into more detail about many of these settings in other videos throughout this course.